Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm Adam Claremont for BreakingAudio.com and AdamClaremont.com. And I've got a video here for you where I'm gonna explain how I like to take a voice track for a voiceover in this instance and make some space in the music bed so that they just blend a little bit better. And this can also be applicable to a vocal and a two track for like hip hop or a rap or something like that, um, any kind of music. So if you like videos just like this, tips and, and Pro Tools and Ableton and other DAWs, just how to get better as an audio engineer, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we release a video just like this. We're doing this every Thursday and probably more often during the week as well. So make sure you don't miss any of those, hit the bell. All right, so let's dive into the computer and let's hear what we got here. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is gonna be applicable to music or in this case, something for like an ad. Um, this was a, a television spot that I just finished up. So I've got a little voice over here. Lower fees and rates, plus a team of financial experts who put you- All right, and here's our music bed. All right. So what I notice is, you know, sometimes they, well, not sometimes, they're always competing, right? Everything in audio, it's always competing for space. So what I could do is just raise the vocal up and just call it a day. But I want to get the music as high as I can get it because the music brings the emotion and it supports the story. And if the story and the emotion are working together, well, then this is going to sell better. The whole message works better for the client. And if they're happy, well, then that makes me look good. So, and it's the same thing for music, right? You know, we don't want a vocal screaming hot over the music. Yeah, I can hear both of them. Yeah, but you can't really hear the music, can you? Okay, so that's the impetus for why I'm working on this. So what I like to do is I'm gonna put a Pro Q3 on the music track. Any dynamic EQ with a side chain will work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it, open up a band and I'm gonna look around the low mid but I'm not just gonna carve out the music track. I'm actually going to key it with the voiceover, with the sidechain input. So let's go back to the voiceover. And on Ascend, I'm gonna open up a, a new bus, and I've already got one ready here. This DX VO key is what I use, DX. That's uh, my shorthand for dialogue, VO is my shorthand for voiceover and key because we're sending this to the key, or this is the key. Right here, key input. I'm gonna grab that same bus, DX VO key. So now when I play the voiceover, it's gonna hit this key and what I need to do and this band, so it sees the key is first make it dynamic and then I'm gonna take off auto threshold and that opens up some more parameters and this little thing, man, I shed some tears when this first came out, this update to Pro Q3. I knew it could do this and I was really excited for exactly this feature for this application and I could not for the life of me figure out why I couldn't get the band to operate properly. This little blue button is your friend. So when that's enabled, that will focus on the key input. And rates plus a team of financial experts. So I'm gonna make this really drastic so you can see that this band uh, is not being reduced uh, from the source material, which is the music. It's being reduced from the key input. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. See how this is like bobbing down with the voice. And rates plus a team of financial. Right. So this is around the band that I'm looking for because for me, I like, you know, it's like the meaty part of the music that gets in the way of like the, the chesty, weighty part of the voice, you know? So for me, that's what I want to duck a little bit out of the music to let that sit through. I don't have a problem with the top end in this instance. You know, everything is going to be different as you go from project to project. But here... And rates plus a team of financial experts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little headphone button so I can solo the band. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. What's not to love? We even make it easy. Yeah, and I find it's usually around this like 250, 280 area. Something like that. So I'm at 265 here. And I'm not going to go nuts on it, you know? 60 be at most, but probably even less. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. What's not to love? We even make it easy to switch. Visit us. And yeah, I'm happy with that. And then the other thing I'm going to do, actually, before I get there, let's just check this. Let's A, B it. So here's with it in. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. And let's take it out. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. So, you know, obviously you're going to need headphones for this one. If you're listening on your phone, I'm sorry. You're not going to hear the difference here. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of splitting hairs, but to me, it really makes the difference. You know, without this, I think I need to bump up that voice. 
you know? So the last thing that I'm going to show you, and I don't do this every time. Let me put this back in. But sometimes I'll play, uh, instead of having the music be dipped uh, in total, you know, the full stereo image, sometimes I'll just, um, sometimes I'll just take out just the mid band. You know, we'll do a little bit of mid-side processing. So let's hear what that's like. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. Versus, where'd you go? Versus stereo. Come back. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. I'll do it again. And rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. This is going to change project to project, but right now what's making me happy is just the mid-band. I like... I like the meat staying on the sides, personally, this time. I don't think I'm losing the clarity this time in the VO. So I'm going to leave the volume on the sides. I'm just going to dip it in the middle. And look at me. Rates we're, plus a team of yeah, we're hitting around 4 or 5 dB cut. And only when, you know, that spot is in play. Lower fees and rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. And I'll take it out once more. Lower fees and rates plus a team of financial experts who put you first. Yeah, so like I said... You know, this helps me get a lot of clarity out of my vocal without hacking my vocal and without turning my vocal so far up over the music. So, you know, when you actually hear the spot on TV, you don't hear the music very well. So right now we're bringing the energy. This is a lot of energy coming from this music and I want to hear it. I want to feel it. So I want to get the music as close to the voiceover without sacrificing the clarity of the voiceover, which again is selling the story, which is the most important thing in these spots. And the same thing with the music, that lead vocal has to stand out. So, you know, if you've got an artist who brings you a two track, that's all you got to work with. Well, this is a way to get you some space in that center again. So check out ProQ3. Just remember that blue button. <laughs> Don't be an atom. Find the blue button um, and enjoy it. And remember, if you like videos just like this, please do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell right now. All those subscribes, those thumbs up, all those comments, it really helps the channel grow and it really means the world to us. So do us a favor, hit the, hit the subscribe button, comment below, what are you doing to carve out the center for your music, for your, for your projects? And yeah, I just wanna hear what you're doing, all right? So until next time, I'm Adam Claremont. Good to see you and talk to you then, bye.